Hey everybody, got another mod here for you. This is the Zenison LP type. This is going to be uh, this could be both a it's a build mod. Uh, this thing's been heavily modded, well, cosmetically heavily modded, and then I'm also going. But I'm first. I'm going to do a review of the guitar itself. So this guitar is a Zenison, and they're available on eBay. Go over here. Right there on eBay for a hundred and thirty-five bucks, and uh, I've always wanted to do something in a guitar that had like old bronze hardware, old copper, or all um, brass, that kind of that kind of thing. And so I saw this guitar. I was like, "Wow, man! Only 135 bucks. That'd be really cool for my like all bronze build, or mod, whatever you want to call it." So yeah, that's this guitar. Um, it comes stock. It's a, it's an LP type. Um, it's got you know Gibson scale length and, and normal number of frets and. 12 inch radius and um, comes with a plastic nut. Uh, the OEM hardware on it is uh, silver for the metal. It's got you know, stop tail, uh, knife edge tunematic, and uh, and silver tuners. That's that's a stock unit, like I just showed you in the photo on the computer. Like I said, this one's been heavily modded, and uh, and then all the plastic on a stock unit is black, so it's got black rings with no covers, and it's got black knobs, and it's got a black switch tip. I got a bronze one on the way for this. So that's what's different as far as like what you see visually. Um, now the, the stock guitar, the fret ends are they're a little rough down here. They're otherwise they're they're good enough that I I didn't do anything to them yet. So yeah, so it's it's better than average. It's not you know they're not as nice as the frets on the road. That thing's just wow. That's like I did it myself almost, but um, but yeah, they're decent. They're they're not as rough as the Indio. They're rougher than the Rogue. I haven't seen frets like on that Rogue. That that Rogue neck reminds me of you know, uh, uh, ESP LTD level stuff or a Chevelle or or a Charvel neck or an original Charvel before they got bought by Fender. Yeah, I should have bought that guitar. Oh, everybody has one of those stories, right? It was a demo at Hot Licks where I got my LTD M2, and the thing was there for like four years or something, and I'd go in and I'd play it every time, and uh, and I really should have got that thing. It had the Floyd Rose and the whole nine yards, and it had just the most beautiful neck on it. But I digress. Okay, so where are we at? Right, so review. Yeah, it's uh, it's got a deep, it's... It's actually got a slightly rolled fingerboard edge. Uh, the frets are better than average. A little rough up here. For some reason, everybody gets sloppy when they get up to this end of the neck when it comes to cleaning up the fret ends. Um, Tone-wise, I have not changed the pickups. I just put covers on them. Um, as you can see, it's got a really hot net pick up that's why it's down so low because once again this all been set up and tune balanced and everything so uh, and uh, other than that you know it's a it's a Les Paul um, as far as like or Les Paul type got to be accurate here right don't want to get sued um, one thing that's different it is bolt-on neck construction so yeah that's that 
But that's also, you know, if something happens, you can always swap next or whatever. Um, now, as far as, like, let me take a look at the specs here, and I can just rattle them off right quick. Uh, it's a 12-inch radius on the fretboard. I checked it. It's a, The website says it's a C-neck profile, and it is. And um, it's a little confusing as far as the materials go on the information on the website, but I'm going to run all my best guess. And there's there's no confusion that this is a maple neck. Um, the fretboard is most likely engineered rosewood, which basically means it looks like rosewood but doesn't have any kind of like a grain to it. The cap or top, whatever you want to call it, it's probably just a top. And it's thicker than a veneer, but not really as thick as a cap, I guess. The top is a, uh, what is this, quilted, quilted maple. Yeah, it's quilted maple, and yeah, that's, that's why I bought the guitar. It's just beautiful, man, absolutely beautiful. And, uh, and of course, yeah, it's got a really nice burst on it, too, and this translucent thing going on. So, yeah, just really, really pretty guitar. And uh, the body is one piece... See if I can say this right. Polonia is my best guess. Is this is one piece of Polonia because they they list it as being either one piece of maple or one piece of Phoenix wood, whatever the heck that is. But in my searches for Phoenix wood, I came across Polonia, and they also say in the description that it's been designed to be lightweight. And has some chambering, but this is the only chambering that you can see at least. It might be other chambering from the front side. So, yeah, the the material of the body and, and the they say the fretboard, one of the descriptions for material says it's it's rosewood and the other one says engineered rosewood. So my best guess is it's a is it's a Polonia body, one piece, and engineered wood for the fretboard. Because, I mean, the guitar is only 135 bucks, and it's pretty much baseline electronics and stuff. I haven't actually opened it up. All the mods on this thing have been cosmetic so far. So I haven't seen, you know, whether it has, like, import switches and pots, and, and whether it's got, like, you know, four-lead pickups or anything like that, but... But it's it's for 135 bucks. You basically you're paying for this. It's what you're paying for, and you know it's got a decent neck. So you get you know a decent a decent Gibson type neck, and you get a pretty uh, and you get a nice body and baseline electronics and hardware and stuff for 135 bucks. And and you know normally a LP type you can't really touch for 100. So this is a good deal, definitely. Definitely a good deal. Now, let's see. Um, I think that covers it as far as, like, the review part goes. Neck finish is nice and smooth. So, yeah, and it, and it, you know, it feels like an LP. It plays like an LP, so... For all intents and purposes, it behaves like an LP. Um, now, for the mods, like I said, the whole idea was to go bronze, copper, or brass. So for the tuning keys, I found some open hardware bronze that have wood knobs on them. And then the wood knobs have been finished with a couple coats of uh, linseed oil. And they just turned out beautiful. And then I got a roller nut for it. And I'm not sure if that's brass or not. That might be brass. And uh, then down here, I got the copper pickup covers for it. And I got the bronze rings for it. And I swapped out all the screws for gold hardware. For gold screws, because they were all silver originally. And 
and here I replaced the knife edge tunematic with a uh, it's gold because I couldn't find any other color and gold was better than silver um, an interesting thing though is that apparently with these tunematics they come in they come in two sizes of posts, big posts and little posts. If you look this is a this is a small post tunematic. And uh, and it turns out that that if you take the post out of a big post tunematic, you could actually drop the post and the insert for a small post tunematic right down into the into the insert for a big post and you can easily kind of switch from a large post to a small post and that's exactly what I've done here. I didn't have any, I couldn't find a pair of gold posts, small gold posts. I could find all kinds of stuff in large posts but not in, in smalls. So I ended up using a pair of blacks in order to do it. But yeah, they just drop right in and they they're almost a press fit but not quite and once you get the saddle loaded up with the strings everything stays in place and it works just fine it's it's a neat trick i use that i think i use that on the jackson roswell when i put a roll on it and then uh it's also got the uh fine tail tuner these things are i think you can get them for like 35 bucks or so on ebay now it's a pretty neat trick makes it work like a Floyd Rose and uh, then the knobs I went with these uh, like black and copper things with the little I don't know some kind of like graphic on it I might change those all all this is you know like the gold one if I can if I end up finding a bronze or a copper one somewhere I'd probably pick it up and swap it in and instead of the gold, that kind of idea, or if somebody started making this in a bronze or a copper, I'd probably grab one of those. This I'm pretty happy with, and the tuners I'm definitely happy with. Uh, the knobs, you know, I might go for something different, like I might go for wood knobs perhaps even. I've got a bronze switch tip on the way for this. I couldn't find, I found like one set of used bronze geikers for strap locks, but they were they got sold out for it. Bought them up, so so I went with I had a tarnished set of gold ones. So I'm using that for now, and I've got a bronze plate with bronze screws too. It's nice. That's on the way for this, and I've also got a leather strap for it. I got another strap for it, but. I decided that leather would be more appropriate once I got all the hardware and stuff on and saw how it was turning out. So so those three bits are on the way, the tip switch and the and the neck plate and the and the new strap. But other than that, the it's pretty much done for the moment unless I come across some cooler looking parts to slap on this thing. And I you know, I could always put in better pickups if I wanted to do something like that, but yeah, if you're looking for a, a real pretty LP type for not a whole lot of money, um, this is a definite contender. You know, it's a definite contender. Yeah, um, it doesn't have the great looking fretboard though. That's that's about the only downside. Not to tell you the truth, I didn't even notice that till just now. So it's probably not that big a deal. Probably not that big a deal. And it is pretty, whether it is maple or whether it's Paulina or whether it's Phoenix wood, whatever Phoenix wood is. So, yeah, definitely a pretty guitar. Definitely a pretty guitar. Anyway, so that's that's the Zenison. And uh, I think I got one more and I'm all caught up on videos on guitars and how-tos and stuff. So, until the next vid, everybody have a good one.